G'day everybody, welcome to the Open Mills channel. Today, we are going to cut a stone. It's been a while for me. I've been very busy doing a lot of other things, including my other job, a bit of piloting, uh, everything I can to get a bit of money together for a skid steer for next mining uh, season. <laughs> and uh, also the giveaway. So the machine that's for the giveaway is literally still in production and the first one will be rolling off the production line, hopefully this weekend, ready to be given away. One of the attachments might be a little bit longer, so I'll have to see what I do there. Um, trying to juggle this. Been really trying to get it happening on time, but may have to appreciate a bit of your patience um, while I tally up the scores and see who wins. Um, and also have the machine ready to show you exactly what we've been talking about this whole time and everything that goes with it so it's going to be awesome i can't wait to show you guys <laughs> so i don't want to keep going on about it keep you in suspense too much but it is still happening it's that new that there's no finished one to show you yet and um yeah it'll be triple zero one first off the production line for the giveaway so it's kind of pretty special, I think. So anyway, we're gonna head on to doing this, but I'm gonna go a bit more in depth with the cut this time. Um, we're gonna start off with the piece as you see it here. It's a bit all over the place, a little bit fractured here and there. We've got to look out for inclusions and cracks while we try and get a nice stone out the top here. So what I've done, organizing one of these, we're gonna have a look through the stone. So I'll come back in a sec and dim the lights. All right, so I think I've got it sussed. We've got it all zoomed in and we can see into the stone without getting blinded by the light. Um, so the stone, just, to, oh, I can't show you now. The stone's color bar sits under all this. So that's the top way up where I said the color bar that we're gonna focus on is. And I can see in through there, right through to the other side. I'm not seeing too many issues like cracks, except for this one. Let's see if I can show you. Runs along with my finger down here, that line you see there, and it comes out there. And a bit of a fleck off that corner there. I'm not sure if that's gonna go down into it, um, but that's heading away. It's more this side here where it comes up into it. I hope it doesn't travel into the stone too far or we're gonna have issues, <laughs> two stones. So inside here is the stone I'm gonna to wanna to cut. So we've got a bit of sand here, which goes down right into it. In fact, it's all color up here, um, but this sand is protruding down. And I was thinking of carving, but I wanna get a nice stone out of this. And it's got awesome color in it. We're trying to salvage what we can and still end up with a fantastic looking stone. I'll show you in a minute, but this bottom here as well, it's got a lot of potential, but as you can see, um, that doesn't go down into the stone. It's just got very broken surface. Uh, looks to be pretty clean, but except for that lump of sand sitting just under in there, that's down deep enough. There is it there that there's all this up here where it's got nice color. So we may end up with two stones. Or we will end up with two stones. <laughs> one down here and one up here. So I'll switch back to normal camera and try and explain again what I've just shown you. Do this, I'll try and keep it still and switch back to normal camera, so there we go. So that was the way it was sitting. The stone I set at the bottom is down under here. That was a bit of a ridge I said, it's not a crack. Um, and our stone is gonna sit up there as well as the one down here. So it's got kind of this sort of a pattern this side. It's even a little bit more feel. Whoa, steady tiger. So yeah, it's got some nice color there, but when we come around this side, it's got some really nice crystal looking bars. So color on color. 
So I hopefully get a bit of an effect. So first thing I'm gonna do is this potch line underneath here is gonna be a guide to cutting the top section off. And I'm gonna try and keep it just under the gray at the top here and slice in here somewhere. So there's a touch of gray still on this side for thickness for this stone, because we don't know how much is gonna come down yet. Um, and then try and, yeah, once I bring the saw out about here, whatever's left of this will be a very nice stone. I'll get some water on this and we'll have a closer look again. That was dry by the way, everything you've seen so far. So here we are. Hard to pick up, but there is really nice colours, sort of jelly colorations in here. I love that blue. So it's more green in real life. So it may end up being a double. We'll see. But main job is let's separate this stone with the saw. So I'll just head over to the saw and slice. Okay, so here's my off cut I was talking about, making a doublet out of. There's a bit of colour in there, get something. So, the main piece still has this, where is it, fracture running through here. It just comes down to the bottom there and then stops. So I'm banking it comes up on the angle to this mark here and it's just this little corner flick. Can't quite get it to come off yet. I'm pretty sure it will just... I'm going to grind it away instead of uh, slicing it. And theory behind that is by the time I sneak a blade in to sneak that little chip off there's not going to be enough left of it anyway. So make life easy. And then we'll work on this side and see how much damage is there, how much of this bar can we keep. So we'll head over to the wheel and start rubbing back. Uh, so just to let you all know, um, with the fundraising, how it's going for the uh, skids here, I'm about a third of the way there, which is really good. So thank you to everybody who's helped and been purchasing and appreciate everyone else who would love to, that's all good. Um, I'm not begging. <laughs> so anyway, it's going well. So we're gonna focus mainly on this green bar. Hopefully we can get the clean up just above it, especially this side. And go from there. Start with this crack, deal with that straight off the bat.
devastating blow. I'm almost thinking maybe I do, so I sort of make a short work of it through there. Back in two secs. Alright, so that was painless. So that'll be a very nice doublet, it was thick enough after all. Glad I made that decision, plus it's dealt with that unsightly sort of fracture. So now we should have a good, good clean stain to, well, set this side. Clean stain to play with. So let's deal with this side, eh? Probably try and roll it to salvage if there's a bar down here and the stone can stay large, but without. Yeah, I want to have a high dome on it.
so there's the bit that came off. That'll make a nice doublet. And here's our stone. So the bar wanted to clean up like that. So that's all sand free now. And unfortunately what was lost is lost. And that bar runs like that. So we're pushing limits this side. So it may have to get brought in a bit more. Um, I'm gonna try and give it a nice, I mean, if I have to lose that corner to get it oval, we might do that. It's a nice corner though. There's a lot of pot here we're trying to avoid. So, let's see how we go. It's a nice pattern though. A little bit of green, bit of purple. As the bars transition on through the next. Nice and a ring. One's finished. So yeah, I'll get on with doffing it and we'll go cut it. Alright, so first thing you'll notice when I turn this stone, it's not straight. As in get the orientation, you can see it's tilted that way. So that's to bring this edge in and keep it rolled down as far as possible. Lose a bit of this end, bit of this tip, and get a nice pleasing shape in the middle there. This tip does have a little bit of something still on the surface. It shouldn't be too far off getting that stuff out. I think we'll lose it, doming it over. So, here goes nothing.
Uh, that's how I'm going to cut it. Comes down too much further. This potch creeps in too far as it is. It's got a little bit there. But. There we have it. So I'm just going to get on with cutting this, make it a quick cut. Um, at least that sort of uh, fills the craving for a bit for some of us. <laughs> and I'll come back. Alright, so here's our stain. All finished, both sides. Not quite double sided due to that little potch cloud, but still a nice view from this side. A bit of depth into it. Colour moves around a fair bit. Good player colour. It's not directional, so it lights up all over. All directions and face on. Doesn't need a black backing. Still shows nice colour. So I'm going to weigh this one. I reckon it came in about four to five carats. So I mentioned to somebody, I don't know who I mean, see if it comes in the four or five carats. Zoom back out for a bit. Four and a half. Again, four to five carats and right in the middle. Yeah. I think I've got it down for the lower carrots anyway. Guessing how many carrots there are. Good luck to everybody trying to have a guess at the uh, parcel for the giveaway. Another four days to go if you want to correct your answer or uh, if you haven't answered yet and you've subscribed, you want to enter the giveaway. I'll put another link again for the video in question for you to watch and have fun. But yeah, so four days <coughs> left. <laughs> Till this giveaway is ready again i'm pushing the limits a bit pushing our luck uh, cutting it fine with this machine being ready on time and it's just going to be ready on time which is good and uh, a couple more videos we've got to get to i've got to get some doublets still made up but i've also got some of these so i made a start on one a bit of boulder opal i want to have to Carve it a bit, I think, due to the way the face lays. So it's a nice purple on it. I reckon it goes under here a bit. I'm going to try and dremel that down a bit and see if there's any more colour just under here. Make that a bit better. But I think most of it's in that stripe there. Not sure whether to keep a big stone or make might make a thin one. Like that with a bit of a iron stone border around it. Yep, so yeah. And this one I've sort of started on. Still needs to be cleaned up around here. I think that'll come off. It's a bit of a sliver, like it's cracked. But most of the colour lies in there anyway. And this piece, I reckon it looks pretty cool like that. <laughs> um, it's got some nice colour in it again, pretty uh, electric bright in person anyway. Yeah, I'm not around with the camera again. There we go, a bit of truer representation. Look at that. Oh, let's look at everything again. <laughs> Why not? sliced off one piece. Um, can't quite remember how they go back together. But yeah. Those sort of three sides. 
them covered. So I'll slice them apart. I reckon a nice big necklace. One, two, three stones. Purple stripe down them all. See what happens. So that'll be another video anyway. And again, yeah, some doublets. And a couple other people I gotta make some doublets for as well. So it'll be a toss up on what the next video is. Um, stay tuned, we'll find out. <laughs> but for this one, hope you enjoyed. And I'll be getting back to regular posting videos soon once I get the uh, few stresses out of the way with this giveaway, trying to make sure I'm going to get it delivered on time and video shot and everything like that. It's going to be awesome. But again, can't wait to show you all. You're going to love it. So anyway, I'll leave this one here. Cheers. <laughs>